Okay, so um, what we're going to try and figure out here is approximately how much pop do all the students at Walter State drink in a year? Okay, so um, what we have to do is we're going to kind of figure out what are the the bits of information that are going to go into trying to find this answer. All right, so we'll start uh, sort of graphically. We're going to draw a little picture here. Say there's some total amount. All right, like this, that this is represents the total volume of pop that students drink. And then we can say, so what has to go into that? Well, uh, obviously, how many people do we have? Okay, that's going to affect the total and uh, sort of the, we might say the amount per person. Okay, that is going to be a contributing factor. Some people won't drink very much pop. Some drink, people drink a lot of pop. All right, and then one more thing we're going to throw in here, uh, which might sound a little obvious, but the time, the amount of time, okay? Because we've said how much pop in a year, we could have said how much pop in a week or how much pop in six years or anything like that, okay? So all those things are going to go into our consideration. Okay, so let's start with the idea about how many people there are. Okay, now sometimes when we're when you're working Fermi problems, um, you might not have a, you might not really know where to start. Okay, with something like this, but to the best that you can, you want to avoid looking things up on Google. You want to avoid using a calculator to make your calculations. We're going to stick with one or two sig figs, and we're going to try and make our numbers easy to work with as much as we can. All right. So this isn't going to be an exact number. It's just going to be an estimate. And as we go through this, you're going to see all along the way, we're having to make kind of strategic guesses here or there, okay, to get to our answer. So how many students are at Walter State? Well, you know, you could make up a number. I happen to know that it's around 7,000, okay? It's around 7,000. And so I'm going to write this as a, uh, in scientific notation, just like that. So I've got one sig fig and then the scientific notation three, okay? Now, if you actually look up the population, you, you might get a number like 6,827. We don't care. Seven's good enough. So we'll just call it 7K. All right. Now, the amount per person. Now, this is uh, could be tricky to get to. Sometimes in Fermi problems, you might want to ask people questions. You might want to need to do a, a poll. Okay. So if we were in class, we might say, okay, everybody, um, how much pop do you drink? And how much pop do you drink? Blah, 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 blah. And then we'll, you know, we might end up taking an average. So maybe we'll get four people to respond. We'd be like, oh, two, oh, I drink three, I drink four, I drink one. And then we would divide by the total number. Okay. We would just average them that way. All right. Now, um, because I'm just here by myself, I'm going to use a different method that I'll show you. Okay, so you can't always do a poll. You can't always look something up, but you can always kind of get an idea about what's probably the smallest and what's probably the biggest. Okay, and um, then we, you, I'm going to show you how you could combine those bits of information. All right, so let's start with the biggest. Okay, so what's the most pop? Um, you know, people might might drink. I mean, a, a significant number of people might drink. All right. And that's going to be about, um, probably about, well, I've known people that drink two liters of pop a day. Okay. That's not healthy. And in fact, they were not healthy people. All right. But, but nonetheless, in terms of pop, that's what we've got. So we're going to see here two liters per day. Okay. So that's my high side. All right. I know that my average is going to be well below that. Okay, what's my low side? My low side is going to be like someone like myself. Maybe I drink 16 ounces a week. Okay, I don't drink a lot of pop. All right, so let's write that down. 16 ounces per week. Okay, so I've got a high-end number and i got a low-end number, and I, I need to combine those. 
But if you look right away, you could see I've got way mismatched, mismatched units, right? I've got days and weeks. I've got liters and ounces. I've got all kinds of crazy things going on there. Okay, I'm going to I'm have to get those to a common set of units. All right. Now, ultimately, I'm going to bring time in. So this is actually a kind of a good time to... To, uh, no pun intended. This is a good time to think about time and what units I want to use. Do I want to say one year? Okay, and just use the number one. Then on my high end number, I'd have to convert two liters per day into liters per year and 16 ounces per week into ounces per year. Uh, that, that sounds like a pain to me. All right, so I don't want to do that. Instead of doing one year, I could do days, 365 days. Okay, well, so my two liters per day is in good shape, but my 16 ounces, I'd have to divide by seven. That's going to get messy. And then whatever I have, I'm going to have to multiply times 365, uh, which is a mess. Okay, and so we'll just, we'll go with 52 weeks. Okay, so weeks works pretty well here. We got 52 weeks. All right. Now, um, to make things even simpler, what we're going to do is we're going to round it down to 50. So five times 10 to the one. OK, we'll round it down to 50. So that that's going to be a super easy number to work with. All right. So weeks is sort of my base is my my base unit there. So two liters per day, then that's going to turn into 14 liters per week. All right. And ounces per week. So I got to change my ounces into liters. 16 ounces is about half of a liter. So we're going to put in here a half liter per week. Okay. Just like that. So now I got my two different, I got my sort of my bounds. And um, I've got my units set um, all ready to go or appropriate. So now we're going to combine these things. Okay. And we're going to combine them using what's called a geometric mean. Okay. What we did down here, the kind of average we always use, that's an arithmetic mean. It uses a mean with arithmetic. So when we do a geometric mean, um, it's actually going to involve some multiplication. Okay. So if I were to do a geometric mean on those numbers down there, the two, three, four, one. Okay. What I would do is I would go two times three times four times one. And I would take the fourth root. Okay. So with the arithmetic mean, we're going to divide by the quantity. All right, with a geometric mean, we multiply and then we raise that to dividing by the quantity. Okay, so we're we're gonna go to the nth power. Okay, one over nth power, like that. So in our specific case, all right, we've got two quantities, so we're just gonna use a plain old square root. We don't have to use a fourth root, cube root, nothing crazy. Okay, and so we're gonna have the square root of 14. All right, and that's going to be times a half. Okay, so that's my geometric mean. Okay, so that is the square root of seven. All right, now I don't want to pull out my calculator. Okay, I want to, I want to just try and do this off the top of my head. So square root of seven is yucky, but square root of nine is easy. So we're going to do it like this. We're going to say that's basically, we're going to treat it as the square root of nine which we're going to call three. All right. So then that becomes our answer. Three liters per week. Okay. Sort of like that. And then you can sort of decide for yourself, you know, how many, you know, three liters, that'd be six half liters. So that'd be six, 16 ounce drinks. You know, does that, you know, given yourself and the people, you know, does that seem reasonable or not? Okay. Okay. So, Let's pause here. All right. So we've got our people. We've got our amount. We've got our time over here. Now we're ready to put it all together. Okay. So our total, let me call that T. It's going to turn out to be the number of people times the, uh, the amount. I'll just call that little A and then the time. 
Okay. So the number of people we've got, 7E3. Okay. And our units on that are peoples. Okay. And then our amount is 3 liters per week per person. And then our time is 50 weeks. Okay. Now let's check our units. Okay. Our people's bit cancels our weeks cancels and we're left with liters. Okay. So that's good. Okay. Everything checks out. Okay. So now let's do, let's get down to our answer here. All right. So I've got seven times three times five. And then I've got E3 times E1. Okay. E3 times E1 is going to get me an E4. Okay. Just like that. Now I just have to deal with the three times five uh, times seven. Okay. So again, you know, um, what we're interested in here is sort of round figures. Okay. So we can do things like this. Now, three times seven times five is actually 105. But let's suppose our numbers were a little bit harder to do in our head. So what we could do is something like this. Three, seven times three is 21. Let's just call it 20. 20 times five is 100. Okay. So we can sort of round that baby down just like this. And so then what we're dealing with is basically a million liters. I forgot to keep track of my unit in there. We'll throw some units on there just like that. So a million liters is what we're dealing with there. Okay. <clears throat> is this the exact answer? I mean, how are you going to, how are you going to say if it is or it isn't right? Cause ultimately we're, you know, we're making a guess about how many students there are. Um, how many students there actually are is going to vary from semester to semester, maybe even week to week. Okay. So getting an exact number for people, that's going to be hard uh, and probably impossible. Getting an amount per person, well, you know, that's going to depend. Even if you ask people, it's going to depend who you ask and you can't ask everybody, right? So you might accidentally uh, ask people that happen to all be health nut vegans and they drink, you know, one pop a month. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was just bad luck. That's not going to work. Or you might run into people who are like total Dr. Pepper addicts or Mountain Dew addicts and they drink, you know, eight, two liters a day or so. I don't know. You, but you understand my point. You're not going to be able to get that number nailed down. Of all these three numbers here, people, amount, and time, the only one we can really get for sure is the time. Okay. So, um, anyway, so is, is the answer really a million liters? Why not? Why not? It's, you know, that's a number. Okay. Now, one of the things that is useful to do, though, is to try and take a number like that, a million liters, and we might say, what, what does that look like? I mean, I have no idea. I could picture a two liter bottle and a one liter bottle, 16 ounce bottle. I have no idea what a million liters might look like. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take our number and we're going to compare it to swimming pools. All right. I'm going to use an above ground swimming pool. Okay. And uh, again, we're going to, I'm going to sort of use this as a way to keep going with how we can do these uh, sorts of estimations. So let's suppose that our swimming pool here is an above ground pool like this. And let's say it has a depth of one and a half meters. All right. And a radius of four meters. Okay. So four meters. That would be eight meters in diameter. Okay. That's going to be close to 25 feet. Okay. And uh, I think that's pretty close for a large above ground pool like that. I mean, again, we just want to get close. We're not going to get an ex exact number, but let's go ahead and find the volume on this thing. All right. And again, we don't want to have to use our calculator. So volume for a cylinder, it's the area. So we're going to have pi r squared times the depth. Okay. 
So I'm going to have pi times 4 squared times 1.5. Okay. All right. So I actually don't want to put equals here because what we're going to do now is we're going to say this is approximately 3 times 16 times 1 and a half. Okay. Just like this. Okay. 16 times 1 and a half is 24. 24 times 3 is going to be 68. Okay. So I'm just going to double check on that. Okay. So it looks like that is about 68. Let me run the numbers in my head one more time. It's going to be 24 times 3. Okay. It doesn't seem right. How about 72? Thanks. Okay, there we go. Nothing like doing that in your head on video and screwing it up. Okay. So we got that there. All right. And I'm going to, once again, then I'm going to say this is approximately 7 um, e to the 1. Okay. Just like that. Now, what what are our, our units here? Well, all of these things are meters. I got meters squared. I got meters squared. So this guy turns out to be meters cubed. Meters cubed. Just like that. Now, my answer for the amount of pop is in liters, so I need to convert. Okay. So one, just one cubic meter is equal to a thousand liters. Okay. It's equal to a thousand liters. So if I make everything into liters, then now I'm looking at seven e. Okay, 7e4 for my number, okay? And that's, that's liters right there, okay? So now what I can do okay, is I can take my, my uh, if I want to know, I can take t and I can divide it by the volume of the pool, okay? So I've got 1e6 and that's in liters divided by 7e4, and that's also in liters, okay? Um, and so that is going to get me, so we're th going to think about it this way, 1 seventh, and then I've got e6 over e4, so that's like 1 seventh e2. So if I had some idea about a seventh, then I'd be like, uh, okay, what can we do here? Okay, so 1 eighth, one eighth would be 0.125. One sixth would be about 0.17. So we're going to aim for the middle. All right. So we're going to say this is about 0.15 e to the two. Again, I'm trying not to pull out my calculator. I just want to get a, an idea. Okay. So we're going to say it's about 0.15 e two, and so that means 15. So. The amount of pop that Walter State students drink in a year is about 15. Well, that amount of, of pop would fill 15 above ground pools. Okay. So there you go. Whether you think that's an impressive number or not, I don't know. Maybe that's not as much as you thought it might do. Maybe it's more than you thought it might do. But um, that's how we can do that. Okay.